you know you see now yeah if we are just having sex don't try to mess up my head by saying oh my mom's having a barbecue do you want to come no <laughs> don't try to take me cinema don't say should we order food when you come to my Wait, house you're lucky food? if you get water no <laughs> you've got one job <laughs> you come you do your job and you get out don't be trying you're not watching netflix here are you all right no no <laughs> Today, you don't think I'm funny. I have met some funny women in my time, but Kaylee Loudmouth oh is hilarious. So today we're going to laugh a little, talk about the man them, talk about the you them, mm -hmm. real talk. Kaylee, welcome <laughs> to Do you know what? There's so much gas in that and I love I know, it. I know, I know. But if people don't find me funny, it's like, rah, that was dead. <laughs> <laughs> You're not doing stand up today, so for them business and they're not paying for this. Amen. People have to pay to see you. Believe that show coming up. Yeah, right. Shepherd's Bush Empire next year, but this year I'm in O2. Anyway, so what are we doing? Are we doing one woman shows? Do you know what? Yeah, I did a show, yeah. like my my show, and I didn't really like it. As in, I don't want to do the organization. I don't want to pick people. I don't want to do all of that. For me, book me, pay me my money, make sure there's a little wine yeah, behind yeah. stage. I'm good to go. But that's what I was going to talk to you about. I've been in this entertainment industry from before I can remember. So I started doing shows, just hosting, in and out of hosting because I was working, studying. Yeah. When I was 20. Big, big 39 now. So yeah. I've been doing it. I've done my time. I've paid my dues. But... I found that the industry is really rough on us women. Absolutely is. How have you found it? Do you know, it is very rough, but I pick and choose what I do. How do you I mean? could have gone clear with this comedy thing. It's not something I want to. To As in like, some people quit their jobs because they want to be a comedian. It's just something that I do because I'm funny. Right. And because of that, I don't take the industry too seriously. If it was something I wanted to do full time, then yeah, there's loads of blockages. But is it that you didn't take yourself seriously and you didn't do this because you couldn't because you've got like a son and a family and you feel like you've got to be head of yours do you know what i feel like i could have done it but the pressure got to me how do you mean i started to be like really funny do loads of shows and then it was like people are then coming to make sure that i'm funny and that pressure messed with my confidence mm. because it was like you know if you've gone to comedy shows yeah, yeah and you've got the headliner and the headliner doesn't bang yeah it's a disappointment it is. and now when i do shows when i first started it was like i was in the first half mm. cool cool that's where the kind of the beginners start mm. now every show i do i'm in the second half which is not a problem but it means everyone's there now so yeah. if i flop everyone can see that yeah, yeah, yeah. but now i've got the confidence to know i'm funny as shit so even <laughs> if you don't find that joke funny i've got another one lined up that's going to be funny so the confidence is there but when i was younger it wasn't as there as it needed to be so are you doing comedy just for the bands just for the energy just for literally i I like stand up. Mm. I don't want a headline. I don't want to tour with it like me. Everybody come to see me. I do so many different things. I'm a musician. I'm a comedian. I'm an entrepreneur. And I have a nine to five. And I'm a mum. Right. Do you know what I mean? So you need seven revenue streams to become a millionaire. And I feel like I can do it all. And bef so why do you think you could do it all? Because why not? And why do you feel like you should do it all? Why can't you just be a master of one instead of a jack of all? Because I. I think the jack of all trades, master of none thing, isn't where people like Jeff Bezos made their millions. Right. Ain't like Elon Musk. They, they didn't make their millions from just having one revenue stream. It's not realistic. And if you can be a trader, you can still work in Sainsbury's and you can still do nails on the side. You can do everything because <laughs> there's 24 hours in a day. Where does a man fit into this? Boy. Because this is the thing. Because I, <laughs> I know you. And I know you like to date. So, um, as soon as you like to do this and that and everything, where is Mr. Kaylee fitting in? Do you know what? Everybody thinks that, yeah, but there's still so much more time. However, I'm not really a conventional relationship person. So what, were you on this polygamy? No, I'm on a... teeth business. Is I can see you, you every... <laughs> that's, what, that's what you do. You get married men, so they got their women and you come... <laughs> Is that what you're on? That actually would make sense, but no. Man I I like to try to date guys that no. If if you're serious about me, yeah, I'll make the time because I believe you make time for everything, yeah. Right. And 
obviously being a mum now, I've had to scale back certain things that I need to do. Right. I know pan practice, for an example, is two days a week. I've scaled that down to one. Right. Comedy shows, I could do comedy shows every week, maybe twice a month I do. It's up to me with my time. Right. So therefore, if I wanted to have a man, when I go home from picking up my son from nursery, I've got nothing to do, you know? So that's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. But you got to pick him up and do stuff with him. And play yeah, him I like- pick him up, yeah. take him home, I wash him, feed him, um, read him his book. By nine o'clock, he's in bed. So wait. So I got three hours. So wait, wait, wait. When Bubba's in bed, because there's a certain stigma about baby mothers that let men come into the house while they used to sleep in. What if they wake up and see a I don't have no man. man. I don't know what that's like. I don't have that. I moved house well, in know- July and I said, I don't want no man in my space. What is that about, please? I don't want no man in my space because do you know why? My boundaries growing up have been absolutely shit. And I have to fully admit that. Now I take acknowledgement of just allowing anything. Because mm. growing up as black women, it was kind of take what you're given type of things. Our parents had a bit of struggle, but they also had to struggle love. Yeah, yeah, Certain yeah. time, Mad. they had a man in the house that weren't doing anything. Nothing. How have you got a man in the house, but you still need to find a babysitter for your child, but he's still here playing <laughs> PS5. Right. It makes no sense. None. Do you know what I mean? So I, for me, my boundaries are if you're not even coming with good conversation, you think you could be in my house and I'm meant to cook for you. No, babes. That yeah, is a because you're is doing a, wife duties, isn't it? Wife duties this for I don't understand how especially men, they expect you to do wife duties for not even girlfriend status. Huh. Like like that Love Island on it, he's talking about let's be what exclusive. It, what what does that mean? You, right, what if a man come to you and say about let's be exclusive, what are you saying to him? Exclusive doesn't even exist. Are you my man or not? It's as simple as that. And but I don't even have to ask someone's you that. man mean? For me? It's just you sleeping with him? Nah. Do you know what? I don't even ask that question, you know? Because a lot of girls want to know, I just want to feel like I'm the only one. But I don't want to know. Because if I ask you, then I'm gonna, I am might get an answer that I don't want. Ooh. Yeah? So are you avoiding the truth? No, because at the end of the day, that means you can't ask me either, boo. Ooh. So wait, 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 wait. What are you suggesting? I'm just saying, you right? You doing you and him doing him? Yeah, because we're not in a relationship. When we're in a relationship, oh. then yeah, and that's what that means to me. Right. You're my boyfriend, I'm your girlfriend, and we're courting and we're dating to get to that stage of marriage. Yeah? Yeah. But before it was a, oh, I'm his girl, he's my guy, we'll see where it goes, huh? What say. direction is this? This isn't making any sense to me. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. unless you're telling me, boom, bam, bim, this is what's going on, I'm not making myself exclusive and I'm not giving myself or making myself feel better to my friends to say I've got a boyfriend and he ain't shit. Right. And so now, what does a man that ain't shit look like? Do you know what? Rubbish you conversation. Five things on a piece five, of paper. five things. Rubbish conversation. What's rubbish conversation though? Just because he don't like what you like. Maybe he just doesn't have that similarity to I'll you. I'll give you an example, yeah? I met a guy at Matt's barbecue, yeah? Ooh. Two months ago, that's two months, yeah? Mm. The most conversation we'd have is, yo babes, how's your day? Mm. Yeah, my day's good. What about you? Oh yeah, I'm just in the gym. Small. Dead. Conversation done. Dead. I told him, oh, what are you doing? He's, I said, oh, I'm going to lunch with my cousin. An hour later, he messaged me, what did you have for lunch? Oh. Are you okay? <laughs> Are you taking my plate? Like, why do you care? <laughs> the conversation is absolutely dead. I'm now trying to get into like... This time my the, man's watching, you know, he's out here. And he's like, oh, I didn't even know my conversation was dead. No, so. ab- absolutely rubbish. And he said to me the other day, oh, yeah, I'm going to call you after work. After two months, this is the first time you want to call me. What? No, 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 wait, wait. He's been WhatsApping you. WhatsApp? You see this WhatsApp culture? I'm not here for it. Man wants to live a whole full blown relationship on WhatsApp, you know? Sending memes and gifts and shit. No. Send me no. a G I F T. This is what you need to do. This is what you need to do. Don't be sending me fucking gifts, man. He gave me nothing. He he wanted to take me out on a date, and because the conversation was dead, I cancelled because I needed to wash my hair. So I didn't. No, go. wait, wait, wait. But you're single, fam. I don't understand. And they're hard to come by. So for you to have given him your number, he must have been something. And then you're gonna stand him up. Yeah, because you know why? Yeah, my but your time. Hair was that dirty. My time. <laughs> <laughs> it definitely was because I was going out the next day and it needed to look fresh. But my time, yeah, is so important now because if I'm getting a babysitter for my son, yeah, yeah, I have to make sure that the time I'm spending away from my son is good enough. Yeah. And if it's not and I'm not seeing that, then I'm not going to do it because I'm not wasting my time because it's not just about me now. And if I'm dating, I don't want to be dating Friday, Saturday and Sunday when that's the time for my child. So Mm -hmm. I have to make that executive decision of, is this worth my time? At that moment, it seemed too early and it was like, no, it's not worth my time. Then afterwards, I cancelled and then it was, uh, there was no, when are we going to do it again? Should we do it again? There was nothing else. It was just conversations of what you doing, babe. What are you eating? Did the woman take your plate? I can't cope. Do you know what? He messaged me one day, yeah? And he said to me, can I ask you a question? Huh? 
Oh, please I, do. I was like, yeah, and I was thinking, good, he's got it's gonna be a yeah. good question. And you know what he wrote? Oh no, what? Can you handle it, baby, if I go there with you? Wait. I said that's a Can you handle it if I go there, baby? I couldn't breathe. I said I screenshotted it, it said it straight into my group chat. How and they all chats? said that <laughs> four, they were like, delete him, please just delete. Are you alright? This is what you said. I, he was. He sent that usher. <laughs> he sent the usher. In that cringy though. But it wasn't even like we was on that vibe for you to say this is banter. From that moment on, I said this guy's a loser. <laughs> and me, I can't be with a loser, you know. <laughs> no, there's no way. I can't believe he brought out the usher. He actually drew for it. All right, so that's number one conversation. What's number two? Number two, I think, is no ambition. That's I can't. I can't be with somebody who's got no ambition. Okay, but. You play musical instruments. Yeah. How about being with a musician? Because that's something I can't do. Because you see me, if there is no P45 at the end of your time, <laughs> I'm not interested because I need to see those documentations of your earnings. Yeah. So I know it's a bit of a liberty and I'm sure there's a lovely musician out there that loves me. But, <laughs> but can we can we be, what, what does that look like? Ambition. Do you know what? I've been with a musician before and it was all right. I handled my own. My thing is, I think ambition is great, but as you said, there's still got to be something. So I don't mind if you are working in Sainsbury's as you're nine to five and you're doing music on the side. Don't quit your job and tell me that you're doing music full time, yeah, boo-boo. Do We're not doing this. On a, oh, no, 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 no. And if you're rapping, be on the roads, at least, in it. I mean... I feel like... <laughs> Personally, I could date musicians, but I can't date a rapper. There's something in it that I just can't do it. Don't you rate the lyrics? Don't you think about the lyrical composition? There must be. A if lot. they're good, <laughs> if and that is very, <laughs> I can't. It is so cringy. But you'd rather a man with a pan, a drummer. Oh, you're see them the, drummers. You're about that. Wow. Line. Ooh, like That's, you like to beat it. Oh my! I could watch a drummer, yeah, for hours. Wow! Just on that snare and that cymbal, just so we need to go like jazz up. cafe for you. Yeah, baby, let's do that. <laughs> let's do yeah, that. I can do all of that. I like a good musician, but I don't want somebody who just feels like, yeah, I'm good. I make this much money, and that's it. Mm. I feel like, what's next? Right. And I understand not everybody wants to elevate to a certain level, but I do, and I can't be trying to go somewhere. And my man's just comfortable. Yeah, but some people are just comfortable. And, I, and I've and i been told that, you know, you have to see a man where he is and allow him to be where he is and not to change him or not to manifest him into something else. Like, I've been watching, um, what's that thing called now? Married at First Sight UK. Yeah. And one chick is like, oh, when I met him, he wasn't he wasn't just right. He needed to change his clothes. And he needed. And other people are like, well, you're not really loving the real man. No, like, you changed him. You changed him. Yeah, I was on Take Me Out with her, by the way. Oh, was you? Yeah. And she's still single. Still single. So am I, though. Oh, she's yeah. at least married now. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking of going on that show, you know. I really want to go on Married at First Sight. I want to go on first dates. Do you? Yeah. I think we should just do a little application. Let's just... Do you know what? When I broke up with my ex, my sister done first dates. She done take me out. And then take me out actually holiday. And I was like, really? But do you know I shagged myself? Because they were asking me what kind of guys do I like? And I was saying like Idris Elba and I was just saying like black guys. Mm. When there was other black women on there that were saying they liked everyone. Yeah. And obviously that's what they wanted. But do you like Idris everyone down. No, but... <laughs> I wanted to go for Nando's, innit? <laughs> You gotta fake it to make it. I'm it? telling you, we can. All right, so number three on the on the list, I would say is being poor. Oh shit! <laughs> being shit. poor, and I don't mean just monetary. Ah. I mean a mindset as well. I can't do it. I can't do it. Like I earn very good money for what I do yeah and if I don't make good money at work because I'm in sales if I don't make commission there then I could do a little show then I could do a little pancake I can even do some cameras if I need to make some money if you've got nothing else going for you and you are poor your mindset is poor every week you want to buy weed but you don't have electricity that mindset is poor I'm not on it but what if you uplift him all of this I uplifted so many guys and I'm still single I'm uplifting them he's holding me up they're there they're married they're living their life you know when you follow them on Instagram and they're posting happily married and I'm just here eating my popcorn watching Married at First Sight. He was there lifting them up. I know, it's a lot. Bro, it's a lot. I said, I'm not doing that anymore because... Where was she? No, <laughs> yeah, she never put the work in, innit? But you know what? She reaped the rewards and I said, you know what? I'm not going to be the person who decorates the house and never moves in. I've Ooh, been there. I like I've been that. there a couple times. I'm not doing it. No, so, I like that. So know. no disrespect to any guy who's got on the come up. I've been with my come up brothers. I need somebody who's there now. 
because yeah. I'm there to get it. Shit, I love that. Though. I mean, I'm just professing, you know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, last thing then. Last thing, what's a, what's a no? Um, a no go is what about short? <laughs> I, I can't date short guys because I'm short. So if you're shorter than me, how want. old are you? Twelve. They... Does it make sense? Yeah, but they say it's a liberty. I'm five three, and they're like, and I like six three. Yeah, same. So I'm five one. Short guy, no, because no. I like my heels as well. It's not gonna so, work. No, but what's wrong with a short dude? What if he's got all of those things? What if he is a great conversationalist? What if he's rich in mind and and power and all of these things, but he's just on a five six vibe? I could do anyone taller than me. Okay. Anyone taller? So even if you're short to everyone else, you're probably tall to me. So I don't mind. That's right. what I mean. But if you're shorter than me, that what about make a weighty any sense. guy? I love chubby guys. Dude. Love them. You're love a them. Chaser. Yep. What yep. is it? The belly? Like I don't know. There's something just, mm, just cuddly and just like a little teddy. But I love it. I love the. I don't like muscle guys. That's Damn. dead. Because I'm not going gym, and you're gonna want me. I'm not doing it. <laughs> and I'm not cooking you four eggs in the morning. I'm not doing that at the time. <laughs> No, babes, it's too expensive, especially if you're poor and you're expecting me to cook all of that. So, so how do you feel about being a woman raising a man? Because that's what you're doing. Your yeah. son is going to be a man. Do you think you've got what it takes to raise a man? Absolutely. Because you know why? I feel like I've tried, I've tested, I've failed, but I also know what I want. But you're not a man. I'm not a man. And I'm not going to raise him by myself. Right. I don't have a, a man and his dad isn't there. But you see when I'm professing and I'm manifesting, I'm manifesting someone that's going to love my son as their own. Yeah. I'm not one of these women who says, I don't want no man around my child. That doesn't make any sense. Right. I've got some great godparents, mm. some great godfathers for him, yeah. But he needs a proper male role model. Yeah. And it's difficult for me because I believe that some of the men that we have now have been brought up to date their mums. and. Sorry think about it yeah <laughs> there's so many guys out here yeah? yeah that still don't put their woman first yeah. and we always do believe that we've got to put our mums first because they're our mums yeah. and then there's mums who are like they don't like the girlfriend because it's taken their position the position shouldn't have even needed to be taken because it's right. two different lanes a yeah? whole different it's so, a whole different library this is it so i can't want my son to grow up and be giving me money to fix my roof but his house still isn't going in the way it needs to mm -hmm. that doesn't make any sense i raised him because he's my son he doesn't owe me anything yes, yes? And my son is two years old now, yeah? And he's sleeping in his bed. And do you know how many black women say to me, Ra, don't you think that's a little bit early? No. Listen, Timothy was in his bed from he was two weeks. White people ain't playing that. But black women, we are making that, that our child stay in our bed until they're certain no, ages. No, because it's for us, you know? For us. It's for us. So we can have that. So then when a man comes into your life and your son don't it's like them, it's because us. he's taken his position. Right. Because sometimes we do, and I say as a, as a woman of a daughter, don't even, and so I'm getting side eye, because <laughs> I do sometimes have bad parenting techniques yeah like bedtime yeah she's supposed to now at six be able to go into her bed night mum kiss ya yeah whatever but she needs to lie on me okay wherever i am yeah and put the foot on me etc yeah but i'm not going even though it irritates me yeah i'm not gonna lie i do like it yeah same <laughs> my son still he he's not being breastfed anymore but he's my boobies even when i'm getting changed boobies loves them and i have to say ashari please go away because that is his comfort and even though he's sleeping in his bed i still have to put him in his bed and i still have to lie there with him until he falls asleep yeah he's not at the age yet to send him in his room yeah but i'm still trying to have that independence because there's me time and if i've got nobody lying in my bed i've got a self-pleasure so ooh. so therefore i need my space okay so we went to, <laughs> <clears throat> we went to self-pleasurations what does that look like to you is that a regular thing yeah are you mad you're busy fam what are you yeah but I told you my son's in bed by 9, 10 o'clock I got 3 hours because I go to bed at 12 I'm not doing it for the whole 3 hours but you know I can get a little time in like how many times a week though I reckon about 3 shut your mouth do you know mouth. what's nuts my sex drive is mad <laughs> is it yeah, wild yeah absolutely wild this is why I'm not on anybody because if we do bits it's like I've been like digmatised many times once you pop you can't stop oh, and it's annoying I don't want to be that person. I've been there and I'm trying to create healthy boundaries mm. because I believe that I've had sex with people just for the sex. And I've had to say to myself, men have feelings too. Oh, have you? so you use them. I, I don't believe that two people can use each other if they both consented and they both wanted it. If I don't feel used, he can't feel used. Why we can't both he? Because maybe he wants something more after you sample the things and he's like, whoa. Uh, 
Some of them do want more of the things. Like a heartless cow, you do you know? know what? I've been there. I have. I have been a bit heartless. But do you know? You see now, yeah. If we are just having sex, don't try to mess up my head by saying, "Oh, my mom's having a barbecue. Do you want to come?" No. <laughs> don't try to take me cinema. Don't say, "Should we order food?" When you come to my Wait, house, you're lucky food? if you get water. No. <laughs> You've got one job. <laughs> you come, you do your job, and you get out. Don't be trying. You're not watching Netflix here. Are you all right? No. No. No, because then it gets tied up. Then everyone's confused. Your girls are on the phone. Oh, yeah, but you know, he stayed around three times, so he must be your man, huh? He didn't tell you he was your man. Don't listen to your friends because they will make something out of nothing. Oh, shit. If you're both just having sex, that's it. No, but how does that work? You can't... Is that no? What no, because we still up? vibe. It's still good. Let's do a warm up. You want to drink, babes? Let's watch a little circle. Let's do a. No, no, no. It doesn't have to be that deep if it's just what it is. And I think that's what girls do. We want, we try to make sex more than what it is. And it's just sex. So for these people, do you put effort in? Like, do you put on fancy things and your best lotions? It depends. Because I believe that there's some guys that I have slept with where our relationship is mainly sexual, but we both enjoy it for what it is. So they bring out that, I want to put on some sexy mm. clothes for you. But Not everyone that gives you that. On, though, because a man no. would see that as you enticing him and, you know, maybe loving on him a bit more than the average. Not if you both understand what it is. And I think yeah. that's what it is, it's understanding. And I think mm. I'm grown enough to say that I can have sex without emotion okay mm. and not a lot of women can do that because we always get into our emotions and then mm. we're heartbroken because we were sleeping with him for two and a half years and then he's got someone else pregnant but bear in mind you look were never ever anything yeah. so why do we get like that yeah. and it's not always good to take the emotion out because then men have emotions and so do women and sometimes you find yourself that you're just having sex but it's empty sex yeah all right as i've got older i've looked at myself i've looked at where i've been what i've done that's why i said i don't want anyone in my space because yeah. i don't want to use anyone i don't want to feel like i'm leading anyone on and i don't want anybody in a space that i share with my child yeah yeah and you're coming and you're messing up the energy i don't have to sage my house all the time <laughs> do you know what i mean women love their sage eh? listen so i'm there's one woman on instagram called the sage dealer she's always running out you Bruh. know <laughs> i've got my sage i'm a little smudge stick and i'm going to each corner of the room and i'm manifesting everything i want listen you see when i moved house i said not a ross is coming in my house there's certain friends that's not even coming in my space yeah, because you, you see my space you see friendships so that's another thing have you recognized how much they've changed not even over the years in age but even through the pandemic even through the pandemic the pandemic has effed up a whole not even related oh, to friendships friendships what is, what do you think has happened i feel like it's a lot of self-reflection mm. i've self-reflected and i feel like for me it was i lost my best friend and then i got pregnant and then I was in a pandemic. For me, all three of those were very difficult. And I don't think there's many friends that actually said to me, Kay, how are you? Mm. And I feel like that was really deep. So, yeah. And when I come, you know, like when the relationships kind of fade in with your friend and then you keep trying to make things happen. Oh, maybe we should do cocktails. Maybe we should yeah, go yeah. for drinks. And you're kind of begging that friendship. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And then they're not giving you anything back. Yeah. Walk away. But I'm always that person. I will try my best until my best isn't good enough. And then I walk away. But once I walk away, it's very difficult for me to come back me too and the thing with friendships is that sometimes you do hang on i guess we like relationships to yeah. what it was yes and then i'm always told you know the seasons and sometimes it's high sometimes it's not but you don't want to believe that i don't want to believe because that. that's your guy that's yeah. your mama girl like, i don't want to believe I just that think to myself why should it be so hard yeah because i don't think friendship should be that hard it shouldn't but then some people are like no new friends and i must say that i have new friends that i really value maybe i love my new friends you know Hey, mad, I've got it? a mum's club yeah and there's seven of us and six of us had our child in August of the same year and then one had a child in June and for me that it's just anything that was going on with my son is your child doing this is your child doing? Mm. it was just powerful and it we do everything we can with the kids and August is a very busy month yeah. but I value them because I've got my time yeah. and I've got their time because our kids are all growing together and I love that and some of your other friends that may not have children or may not understand it and don't want to hear about your son every five minutes yeah it, because their child's 56 yeah. and it's not my fault that you had a child ages ago <laughs> do you know what I mean so they're looking at me like oh she's new to this like yeah, yeah you lot yeah, done it really? years ago but allow me and let me have my moment and do you know what's different as well <laughs> a lot of my friends had kids before like 21 mm, yeah yeah so no shade they had a struggle yeah. to raise that child there was the baby father drama because they were still kids they had the hostel drama they had the council flat drama 
I didn't have that because I had my son at 32. Yeah. So I didn't change my life for my son, you know. My son came into my life. Yeah. So therefore, I didn't even resent him for nothing because I was of that age. Honestly, I had actually at 32 and I felt actualized. I did not feel like I was missing anything. Anything. I felt like I've done I and I've yeah. done Malia. I've done shows. Yeah. I've done... So even now, like we were talking about the mum guilt. Yeah. Like even doing podcasts and knowing that she's at home with a babysitter or whatever. I feel guilty. Yeah. Even though this is my guilty pleasure. Yeah. I feel guilty. I feel like she should take every single part of me yeah all the time. and that's not healthy that's not healthy do you know How what we i work think with that though i think we've got to start to put things in place right now personally this is what i've been talking to all of my friends about have you got life insurance first of all yes got that Good. the other day listen as soon as i was Imagine. pregnant and as i said my best friend passed away I had four kids no life insurance yeah i said cool i'm making sure i have my life insurance just in case i got that then it was like that hundred pound a month that i get i get 30 pounds 58 csa from his dad yeah and then I and the only reason why I still take it because some people will say get oh, more of that. listen some people will say oh you shouldn't even take it it's only £30 listen in 12 months that's £360 my son broke my TV the other day yeah that same £360 bought me a new TV it matters so I'm yeah. going to take it because it accumulates anyway I said I put the £85 um, child benefit child benefit plus his dad's £30 that's £115 a month yeah I put that away by the time my son is 18 that's 20 grand nice yeah? that's in an account we're not thinking about stuff like that because no, it's only I'm £100 not. Yeah. Do you know how easy it is to spend a hundred pounds? That's what I'm thinking about. So, I didn't even realize exactly. That, you know? So I do that, put it in his little junior ISA, yeah. Nice. And then I said, my son goes to football, yeah. Forty five pounds, yeah? yeah. Only last week, actually, he cooked. He kicked the cone, not the ball yet. <laughs> but I mean, <laughs> I'm gonna keep trying to do things with him. And my my guy friend, oh, it's a waste of money. I could no, take him. Not. I'm not begging nobody to no. take my son nowhere, you know. No. So I spend a little £45 and he goes to football on a Saturday. He goes swimming on a Friday. Yeah. yeah? £35. Yes. So all in all, I'm spending, what's that, £70, yeah. no, £80 on my son, yeah? Just to do those two curricular activities, but my sky bill's £78 and I hardly use it. So why can't I yes. spend that money and invest it within my son? Yes. Because it's not just about the money. It's about what they're learning. It's about them making new friends, socialising, yeah. all of that kind of stuff. So I don't feel as guilty now doing things for myself because I'm putting money and putting investment into him and putting time into him. That's so it's true. my lunch break on a Friday, you know, that I'm taking him swimming. Yes. I don't even get to eat. But do you know what? I'm doing something that I can say, even though he's like, where's my mum on a Saturday? But he knows Saturday morning, me and him's going football. Yeah, we've got our time, so that's where I think it comes in. Putting investment within your child, money and time, because at the end of the day, when he gets to eighteen and says, "Right, what did my mum do for me?" She put you in everything. Yeah, my mum's got five kids and anything we wanted to do. My mum takes me to my shows, you know. I'm big thirty five. Thirty five. Oh. My mum takes me to all of my comedy shows. No way. Yeah. She takes me to my comedy shows. She takes my niece to her makeup. Because you can't drive. No, of course, I can drive. My mum is just that plug. Oh my gosh. My niece is a makeup artist. My mum takes her. Yeah. My, my nephew does football. My mum takes her. My mum is that very big supporter in anything my that you lot can do. a goat. I swear. Honestly, my mum's the absolute best. I had them for dinner the other day and she washed my pots before she left. I said, yo. <laughs> my mum is honestly best mum, oh, best grandmother. And we have conflict. And I think we have conflict because my mum's generation certain times they're a little bit washed you know how you mean some of the information they gave us wasn't great no 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 it, it's, wasn't. it wasn't great because as i said they kind of had that struggle love in the sense of they got by yeah they did they worked hard though they worked hard but not just smart, to get you know. by yeah they didn't work smart i don't want to work hard yeah, just to yeah. get by we did we did like my mom always made sure we went on holiday once a year cool but my mom finessed the system i mean we went to disneyland paris yeah my sister who was free got lifted up by my other sister my sister who was five was in the buggy and then me and my brother were twins because it had to be under 12, innit? So <laughs> she finessed it, but we went, we enjoyed and we lived our life. And you know, you have to take little breakfast rolls for lunch and things. Yeah. But we went. My mum always made sure we did that. Yeah. And even though I laugh at it and it was a bit of a struggle and we made it, I don't want to have that for my son if yeah. I don't have to. So I'm going to work harder. So if I have to do the seven revenue streams to make extra money yeah. to make sure he's good, I'm going to do that. Do you think there's imbalance in the workplace for women? Absolutely. And black women. Yeah. The do you know what? Is real, right? How, how is it in the? Um, I'm not in your industry, but how is it in sales? White male dominated. Really? Listen, and how have you been able to like climb the ladder? Do you know what? I can't lie to you. I'm a bit of a boss, you know. Are you? Yeah, and I swear down. When I'm on job, I'm on job for anything that I need to do. Right. Yeah, and I recently got a job, and I got scouted from Chicago because a company here in Chicago. Yeah, 
And he found me on LinkedIn, said, oh, yeah, yeah, kind of want to have a conversation with you. He said, cool. He said, boom, what salary are you looking for? I told him. He's like, yeah, I reckon we'll be able to do that. Bear in mind, I just chose a number that I wanted, yeah? Man said, oh, yeah, yeah, we'll be able to do that. I said, cool. Listen, all I would tell you is I'm basically on a six-figure salary, yeah? Just for doing sales. Me as a black woman, and the only reason why I say this because we're always told not to talk about no. our salaries and stuff, yeah. right? And to a certain extent, yes, I understand it. But do you know what? I need people like me to understand that then we can possible. out there and own. But also, I think sometimes we're told not to... Um, talk about it for two reasons there's jealousy and bad mind yeah. you don't want people watching yeah. but also you don't want the black man to feel less than he is this is it as well I can't always tell my man what I'm earning no you can't tell him but, and do you know what tell him? I, I can't do that because then he's why. gonna think number one he's gonna want you to take him on holiday yep I'm not paying the bills because this is what I said as well I still don't want to be the main breadwinner in the house in order to pay the bills because I'm still old school I still want a man to basically protect and provide yes yeah? I will cook clean do whatever I need to do as a woman but I technically don't believe that I'm going to cook clean and do all of these things and we're going to be splitting the bills because who are you protecting and providing because right. that means that I'm working 80 hour days and you don't have to do that because you've come home and you're tired yeah you can watch Shelley. that doesn't make any sense why are we splitting bills then if you're paying the rent, but what that's if yours. he's you know you spoke about this man that just works in Tesco's, and what if he's on, I don't know twenty k, yeah. How do you expect him to take half of his little grand a month and pay? <laughs> you are cheeky. <laughs> and pay half. But the then bills? I don't, because then you wouldn't. We can pay half the bills, but then you've got to do other stuff. Because if I'm going to be paying, See, he's gonna like you to push man on the roads, you know. <laughs> no, like, no. Like, because I will, what other stuff is my man doing? I will help you and I will nurture you because if you But you're think, not nurturing nobody I, no of more. Of course I will. If you think that Tesco is the best that you're gonna get, then you can't be with me. But if you think you can upscale your life and do that, because you know what? You're not working. If you're only getting a grand a month at Tesco, yeah, and you're doing nine to five, what about the other hours? What about weekends? You can't have two jobs. She, when is he gonna spend time with you? Because that's the next thing you're gonna complain that man's got time for no. you. No. Because at the end of the day, there's twenty four <laughs> hours in the day and everybody keeps going on like there isn't enough time listen yeah see in the summertime i do my nine to five yes and then i go and i play pan and i'm getting home at 11 o'clock but i've still got to fill in time for my son to cook and feed him do i make it work yes i do so there's no excuse that i'm accepting that a man's got no time to go out and look work he's got no time for me he's got no time yes. for anything you can make time for what you want to make down for i know i sound harsh no you sound harsh but i'm telling you it's you know like you make a man quiver in his boots <laughs> like i don't even know if i want to sign up for the job because this sounds hard and long but, you know but are you on them dating websites though yeah and their conversation where are you too. where are you I'm I was bum- on Hinge I'm bumbling I was on Hinge I'm gonna have to go to like a Bumble yeah Bumble's alright you know alright I'm a sign up <laughs> I was doing a Hinge thing yeah yeah but basically they want you to pay in it because the algorithms are oh, a bit dead you know like when it's like hold on I haven't had much likes today I was like it's not me I will change my little profile picture <laughs> I knew it weren't me because I'm a spice yeah but I knew that it was because they want you to pay I'm not paying. trying to make you pay. Yeah, same with Instagram. You know, before you used to get bare yeah. likes, now all of a sudden your likes oh, go down. No. no, I'm not sponsoring this ad. <laughs> so, yeah, I was on it, but... Bumble so, caught me with the little ads because you know they tried to make it black and they got yeah. like and everybody. And I thought, oh, okay, let's not get it twisted. There's not many melanated... Me- no, you know what? It's not so bad. Okay. But what I'm trying to do is step out of my culture okay i'm trying and i didn't say white you know i just said step, step out, out of the culture. west yeah. indian culture yeah okay but sometimes it's a bit much yeah because the i call it like a gussy stew and them things <laughs> <laughs> and all that four finger motion yeah i don't know how i will cope and i'm not pounding no yam I'm do you know what yeah i can't lie i pounded a yam or two in my life Did you? i only used to date african men do you know why are you serious because I felt like I emasculated Caribbean men too quick because they were up under their mums too much, which is what we said before. Yes. And then I believed that African men were more stronger in their stance yes. and they worked a little bit harder. I know that's a bit of a stereotype, but that's how it's I felt. Really, yes. But then the Car- the African men understood your culture until they didn't want to, until you were palancing in a carnival costume, until you had too many gems on and he wasn't on it no more because he couldn't take that to the family. I don't want no man who wants half of me. You take all of me or nothing, innit? And in 2021 that still happens are you alright do you know how many of the people are pastors still <laughs> everybody's a pastor oh my uncle's a pastor oh my dad's a pastor so I can't bring you home no me you could take me anywhere because I know how to flip it up you yeah, know yeah 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 
I, I will come no, with my, with no, my no, head no, wrap no, no. and be alright. Let's, let's dive slowly into the carnival world because really and truly, it's a lot. I think there's a lot of polygamy yeah. in Soka. Oh. Because the, 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 the hard walking that my man does when his gal is there and all the the five other girl in the dance what is that yeah. about why, why do you know what this? I believe I believe that soca is freedom right yeah. and I love I love soca music and I do believe that it's freedom but then it goes back to having the boundaries and I think that even as black people and as Caribbeans we say a lot of things and we say it's culture no, and it's not, not culture it's because not it's culture. actually disrespect it's disrespect there's a lot of things that we do that are not right see like even christenings I wanted to christen my son yeah yeah do we want to christen our sons for the culture yeah or do we want to do it because we believe in Jesus Christ as yeah. our lord and saviour yeah we're not doing it. We're just doing things and then blaming it on culture. Oh, I'm a soca man, so I'm allowed to have many girls. Yeah, what no, is that? That's just disrespectful. It is. Do you know what I mean? Especially if you can't even whine in time, you're cheeky. <laughs> so, I like... On your toes You know well. what I mean? I can't. Bare I... shoulders. <laughs> Get away from me. Like, <laughs> I, I know... That no, but they're... soca girls are, are cheeky as well because I'm not going to lie. Them girls that put glitter on their bellies <laughs> <laughs> and just out on bad... Like it's a lot. You're disrespectful. You're Listen, rude. You're rude. You are rude, rude. But you know rude. what? You're rude. Before you're rude. I was like, oh my gosh, that girl's got her batty out of door. Me, for carnival, I am like, where is my song? I no. love it. What is that about? Why is everything know. out of door? It's like, it's just I'm a, a big girl that want, loves the empowerment, but sometimes I'm like, what? Yeah. Kid? Sometimes it's a lot, and I it's do believe lot. that a lot of people and again. Then you try to put the tights over it, the flesh color, and make it look. Yeah, all right. just little fishnet tights, you know, <laughs> batty out the door. I do love it, but I do believe that some people have ran with the culture, yeah. and this is what happens sometimes, isn't it? So you're allowed to be in a carnival costume, but back in the day, that carnival costumes were like the muckle jumbies and the the big carnival yeah, things yeah, yeah. with the with the big feathers, everything. Now. It's one little piece of satin, you know? One little piece and of string that your money that is... comes here for me. It's the... Oh, look, my people got four of them today. Do you know what? It's... Jeez. <laughs> you never even told me about that. Fucking <laughs> okay, no, man. So, this is what happened. This is what I'd have been looked like in a carnival costume. Then You'll be absent... Little... Listen, you see you, Trinidad Carnival. Are you mad? I might find a brother, though. Oh, really. my goodness. I couldn't. Listen, I, feel, I, I go to Trinidad to with Anthea, yeah? We know Anthea, yeah? Anthea, big boobs. Yeah. Big boobies love her size you see man if he gets more man than me in Trinidad so when girls think oh um you know um, I'm putting on a bit of weight go to the Caribbean go I there find your man no, but in Jamaica they say yo big girl I don't like it but they love you I don't like I, it I, I feel I, very... do you know what I think that black women we are kind of supposed to be big to a certain stage there are some black women who are slim and it suits them I've always kind of fluctuated with my weight and I've never been too big and I've never been too skinny. But I believe that black women are beautiful when they are just them. Mm. And I've got so many big friends who try to appear skinny and they're not happy. Yeah. That's not who you are. Yeah. And I think personally, it's not even about size, it's about confidence. It is. When what you, is confidence to you? Before we go, if you could tell me in your opinion, because I think you're a beautiful, confident woman, oh, what you. do you divine as confidence? Um, knowing yourself and being happy with who you are and if you don't know yourself what are you supposed to do find yourself where am I finding myself you can find yourself in anything books movies self reflection crystals sage and anything you want to know about yourself you've got the power to know about yourself and it's about healing as well as I said I'm now at the stage where I dissect everything I've been told we've grown up as this is culture this is what you do parents talk kids listen mm -hmm. but if my son's got something to say I want him to be able to say it yeah. I didn't grow up like that yeah. but I'm trying to find how I want to be for myself for my partner for my relationship and I believe my relationships haven't worked out because I haven't known myself as much as I thought I did but now in this stage that's why when you're coming to me you've got to be ready because I am yes. and that's it <laughs> did you not hear that? Kaylee Loudmouth is ready now mamba she is ready man them if you're chubby <laughs> if you know yourself if you have you know power in your art you can lift her up and them things there if you've got stamina like whoa if you're up for this three times a week business and I'm not about that life I'm tired I've got things to do <laughs> Hello, my girl Kaylee it's been a pleasure having you thanks boo Thank I feel you, like they're baby. a little bit scared now but I, know, I came across mad harsh innit <laughs> I'm a nice girl and I've got all the time in the world for anybody who's ready and willing boo <laughs> as long as you're ready alright later <laughs>